supposed to do an on one or after one? <laughs> I think we all did after, right? <laughs> okay, so. good. Yeah. <laughs> You're I on I thought they were going to maybe pop up a go. Yeah, no go. No go. Did you hear what I said? I said you're on one. I, I heard you. Okay. Welcome and to... And welcome to... Welcome to... Welcome to... <clears throat> Electric Boogaloo. Well, it's welcome to... This is the sequel to the welcomes that we've been doing every other episode. This is Big Town Improv, and this is a, this is a, a next level welcome. I'm... Josh Pilch. I'm Jesse Moriarty. And guess what? It's Big Town Improv. You know what happens here. We're, and, and oh, and if, if anybody else is in the room, they're listening to this, they're going to be so dazzled by the branding we just came up with. And What's but, that? but guess what? Here's what we're doing on this show. First, this is an improvised show. Right. And first, we're going to do a series of small scenes here small. in Big Town. Think inspired. not large. No, don't think large. They'll be inspired by true stories. And then, Jesse, what happens after that? Well, after the small part, Josh, comes what I like to call the big part. Big. Big. In the big part, <laughs> we make one long extended improvised scene uh, uh, covering multiple places and times with many characters in many locations. Um, some would describe it as a long form improv, but others wouldn't. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. I think just about everybody would describe it as long form improv. It's just that some people wouldn't describe the first part as long form improv, and that's incorrect. Anyway, guess what, Jesse? What's that, Josh? Do you have more contentious points for me? <laughs> oh, no. This point is not contentious at all because, you see, we're not alone. What? Who else is in the room with us? Why, it's none other than Steve Gallant. You know him from this show. It's well, Hello. <laughs> none other than Anakin Skywalker himself. Steve That's Gallant. Right. Um, anyway, hey, uh, welcome, anyway. Steve. Welcome, Steve. Uh, special guest today. Um, Steve, are you excited hey. to be here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I've me. been dreaming about this since this morning when Josh sent me a text message. <laughs> awesome. We, uh, in, a, in truly improv fashion, uh, our guest stars are only in, in, informed very suddenly about their presence on the show. <laughs> That's right. Don't worry, nobody else canceled. Mm, that's good to know. That makes me feel well, good. Well, Josh, is it is it time for um, for some inspiration? Yeah, I'd like to be inspired. What do you think, Steve? I guess. Then I will uh, fire up the old random word generator here. All right. Think of tales from your lives that can be inspired by the following words. Cellar, fleet, hell, arrangement, requirement, railroad, community, square, tragedy, x-ray. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, there. I, speaking of I'm railroads, glad one of the words was tragedy. There was a. Um, there used to be an abandoned uh, <laughs> train nearby my house. They uh, they tore it down, uh, or they I guess tore it down is probably not the right. Uh, they tore word. down the train. Well, they got rid of it in the some manner. The train or the train uh, tracks? No, no, the train itself. There was an abandoned locomotive uh, series of locomotive <laughs> cars uh, that just sat there on train tracks that had been, you know, disconnected from the main route. Um, I guess I, I actually never learned the story behind it, but we did film <laughs> a, uh, a Batman fan film there one time. Um, really? Yes. Um, I played Batman's villainous arch nemesis, the Joker, um, who yeah. battled Batman upon the train, um, which we made no effort to use special effects to imply that it was moving or anything. <laughs> so the Joker had simply made his his lair in this abandoned train, which seems train. 
Which seems, you know, not entirely off like brand. Yeah. Yeah. And but so you weren't you weren't acting as if it was moving and it just very clearly wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't no, we weren't short. acting as though it was okay. moving, but we did climb to the top of one of the cars, which was probably illegal, um, and had like an Indiana Jones style fist fight on top of the train. It's just not as thrilling if the train is not in motion. Right, right. <laughs> what about you, Steve? Do you have a train story? I was trying to think. I, I, I mean, I've lived in California long enough now to where uh, th- thinking about trains makes me break out into a rash because yeah. mm. uh, our public transportation is non-existent. I uh, took the subway true. when I visited you. We do have a metro. LA's gotten a little better about it. We, we yeah. do have a metro link, which um, uh, it actually you can take from here in Orange County to downtown LA um, in not too very long and for not too very expensive. It was kind of, I did it the other day and walked over to that big, uh, pretentious LA library that we have. Um, <laughs> wait, so, wait, Jesse, do you, not to dox you, but are you back in Orange County? I am back in Orange County. Yes. Okay. Cause there was that brief moment that I think is hilarious where you lived very close to Steve and just, it never came up. And then you had moved away within months uh yeah i was only there for like six months in burbank and i didn't like it um (laughs) (laughs) too close to steve huh well well, that's kind of the problem uh with the the train system is that it gets kind of to the edge of of like north hollywood and then if you want to get to burbank or any of the outlining like right. cities or, or areas, there's just nothing. Right. Yeah. It'll take you to the land. Uh, which isn't an exciting story. Yeah. But it is a story, and if it, and I think it's all we're going to get. Josh, do you think we have enough content here? Oh, definitely we do. All right. Now, Steve, it's been a while since you visited us here in Big Town. You might not recall what uh, happens next. But guess. I don't. Go ahead. Uh, we're going to start hooting and hollering. Correct. Here come the hooters, and here come the hollerers. Here come the hollerers. Yeah. Um, as, you, as you can see, they take opposite sides Whoa. on the field. Um, <laughs> burp, 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 burp. <laughs> and, um, uh, oh, Josh, am I, am I wrong in saying that... Um, both Hooters and Hollowers seem to have um, made some kind of peace and joined and joined an order of Benedictine monks. I that was uh, you're not wrong, Jesse. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, they're both no donning uh, or, Orthodox monk robes, and it looks like they're about to say something. Ah, they're going to begin a chant. Let's hear it. Here it comes. <sighs> I'm glad you're all here. I have some bad news. Oh, uh, yeah? Indiana you're Jones. You're glad we're here because there's bad news? Yes, because I need everyone's advice. Indiana Jones is on this train. Ah, <gasps> oh, du lieber. Ah, uh, I know. I know it. Uh, he is at the far end of the train at the moment, but he's slowly making his way up here towards the, the engine car, and I need, I need to know what we're going to do about it. Hmm. Uh, we should all... Okay, so he's, he's way in the back, right? Right, he is in the back at the moment. All right, so I, th- I think we have enough time to each pitch something that we can do to stop Indiana Jones, world-famous archaeologist and professor, before he gets to uh, the front of the train. Right, I agree. Now, the advantage that we have, that I think, is that it's basically a long, <laughs> linear path that he has to go down, you know? It's like a straight line... Um, and uh, he does his, his options are limited. Like, you remember when we fought him in an open field, he could go left, he could go right. Uh, but here, oh, he's oh, a what li- if... Oh, I, oh, sorry. Uh, listen, thanks again for speaking in English with German accents. That really no helps problem. me out specifically. That's, of course, um, uh, we are trying to be accommodating to you, Benny. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We anyway, Nazis uh, are very so, inclusive and, and uh, welcome to, welcoming to all types. Yeah. I've so, always said that about you. Benny, what is your idea? Well, so I was thinking if the problem is that he's got like a straight line to get here, right. what if we disconnect one of our train cars and make kind of a fork in the cars Ooh. so that he has to choose which which car he goes to. Well, 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 Benny. But, but I, I, well, I'm liking this idea. Wouldn't we then have to choose which cars we don't like? Like, which are the bad mm. cars on the Nazi train? Like, right, um, right. Like, I really want to keep the dining car. And I'm Definitely pretty... Definitely keep di- dining car, yes. And I'm pretty... Yeah, yeah, and I think the Führer sure. wants us to keep the, the car with the cursed artifact in it. Who's, uh, which one is that? Oh, that's the, that's the, uh, the, well, this car, actually. Naturally, Indiana Jones is... Uh, no, 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 the Fuhrer. Oh, the Fuhrer? Which, which Fuhrer? Yeah. No, who, what is that? Oh, that's... Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's I'm I'm peppering my speech oh, with some. Oh yes, um, we are we are including oh, oh. a few simple German words that are commonly known. But right, right. Sorry, I thought it was a name. No, no, no. no, no, no. That's, uh, sorry, the leader <laughs> right. wants us. Oh, oh, gotcha, <laughs> right, gotcha. Right. Anyway, um, so uh, we've got to keep the, the artifact car. We've got to keep the dining car. I think we need to keep the laundry car. Um, I know mm. no one's doing any laundry at the moment, but we might later, right? <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to start smelling you guys. <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. I must go and take this a moment. Yeah? Oh. Yeah? yeah? Oh. Was is... Mm-hmm. What? Danke. So, uh, Benny. Um, <laughs> yeah. What, what's going... Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that back. was... <laughs> Okay, guys, bad news. It's Fath, Vas so, is los. Sorry, so, but, yeah. So, so Indiana no, Jones it's, it's goes into one of the cars, right? And it's full of Nazis. So we think we've got him. They all draw the guns on him, right? Right, yeah. He yeah, goes yeah. out draw and gun, climbs yeah. onto the roof of the car. And the Nazis are, cl- are climbing up the ladder one by one. And he takes them on one by one. And he's punching them off to the roof of the car. Hmm. Ach, du Liebe. So ah. we are down eight Nazis. They've been knocked oh. off the train. Or, or similarly a- dispatched by Indiana Jones in, in creative ways. Simply horrible. Well, okay. I'm sorry that this is what needed to happen for us to get to this point, but this does lead me to uh, my pitch, I think, uh, uh, Ooh, of how oh, okay. to get rid of okay. Klaus, Indiana Klaus, Jones. What is- what is your idea? Um, what if we start uh, driving the train? What if we, um, what? you know, and make it go forward on the track? That would be that would be extremely dangerous for our guys as well as for him. I mean, yeah, up on the roof, that'd be that's a health hazard. You've got to be uh, sitting down in the car with all your arms and legs inside the car while the train is in motion. Oh, I, I, I agree that that's uh, best practices when you're talking about safety in a train. But uh, we want to get rid of Indiana Jones. And I well, of feel course like we want to get rid of Indiana Jones. But we also don't want to get in trouble with OSHA. Mm, he's right. That's yeah. true. That's true. We Nazis are always very compliant to oh. uh, uh, workplace uh, uh, danger organizations. So, sorry, guys. Excuse me. About the Especially game. American on. ones. Oh. I am back. That was one of the guys Indiana Jones knocked off the train. He walked up here to get a first aid kit. <laughs> oh, God. Did you oh, give it to him? Did he get what he needed? Uh, uh, yeah, I did, yeah. But we've only got the van. And I hope nobody got any more, anything mm. more serious than a quick couple of scrapes. <laughs> mm. We were running pretty low on Band-Aids, too. Oof. I've, I've, this mm. is. No, ein erste aid kit. Benny, Benny is here. Oh, I'm sorry. Only yeah, one was... first aid kit. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks. All right, all uh, right. I, again. I see the error of my ways. We we don't want to get in trouble with uh, oh, no. with anyone. No, actually, really. actually, I want to circle back to this for a moment. Benny, you recommended uh, cutting, you know, disconnecting one of the cars, um, and I like that yeah. idea, but. After Klaus made his pitch, I realized that if we do that, it's not going anywhere. It's just going to stay where it is because the train is not in motion. 
Well, yeah. So sorry. Right. I think I wasn't Good clear. Point. I wanted to disconnect multiple cars and kind of arrange them in a Y pattern. So that when he goes out of one car, he sees two cars split in front of him and has to choose which one he wants to go down. Maybe we could put a guy who tells riddles in one of them. No, mm. Okay, I'm, I, I'm uh, not to sure clarify, you're grasping. We are, pu- we are pushing the cars individually. Yeah, yeah. We're going to need a lot of Nazis. Luckily, that's what we have. <laughs> uh, well, um, <laughs> well, uh, it's just that by its design, a train goes along a single track. So uh, splitting the train into a Y shape would be um, logistically difficult uh, because even the track. Even if we were moving, oh. I can't even picture what you're saying. Uh, I, I'm really trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, How- like if you were walking down a hallway and there were two doors, kind of in diagonal. <laughs> what kind of hallway is like- this? Okay, like at the end where there would be one door, there was instead two. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to point out we, that we are... Uh, we, we, uh, we cut to the German, uh, uh, wherever Hitler is. Ah, Benny, come in here. Oh, hey, uh, furry. What did you call me? The, what the other guys call you. Yeah. Oh, I, I see. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, well, if it wasn't clear, it's me, Hitler. Now... I think yeah, you yeah. are onto something. We could win this war if only we could create, if we could grasp what no one else could, a hallway where doors are on a diagonal. Just at like the end of it, you know? <laughs> I don't know, Penny. <laughs> you're, you're a crazy madman. And you are going to win World War II for me, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. One moment. <clears throat> yes. Hi, neighbor. Uh, I know you don't know me. Um, I was just uh, baking. What the? Dan? Y- yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Have we, have, have we met before? Dan, yes, we've met before. We, we were like best friends in college. You de- I'm sure you recognize me. We, we only graduated five years ago. What's going on here? I'm sorry, I, I'm just not placing it. What was the name? It, it, it's me, uh, 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 Jack. Jack, uh, Kramptanksowitz? That's, yes, yes, Jack Kramptanksowitz. We were roommates in college all four years. Hold on a sec. Okay. Pete. Pete, there's a guy at the door hey, saying he's. There's a guy at the door claiming to be Jack Cram Tanks Kibitz. from college. Yeah. Huh. That's what I said. So right? are you gonna let him? Are you gonna let him in? I don't know. Like, should I? Because. I mean, what if he's like an imposter? Hmm. I don't know. I went to uh, elementary school, middle school, <laughs> high school with a Jack Krempofsolitz. <laughs> and uh, I uh, I haven't seen him in a, since he went off to college, but uh, he, I could take a quick <laughs> peek, see if it's the same if the same same guy. See, he's saying that, like, by sheer coincidence, he's my neighbor uh, and we just haven't encountered each other in the five years that both of us have been living. That's here. weird. Uh, That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. I'm going to I'm going to. Quiz him low key and see because this could be like a phishing scam. Oh, it probably is. They're getting so sophisticated. Right. Um, so, Jack. Um, Jack. Uh, hey, yeah. How long have you lived here? Wait, is that <laughs> Ted? Uh, no, that's Pete. Um, Pete. Pete. Yeah, the, Pete. Wait, wait. wait. Pete. Oh, oh yeah. I, I forgot when you go back back in the old days. You went by your middle name. Ted. <laughs> yeah. Pete Ted. 
It's it's weird. Ted. Yeah, my middle name is Theodore, yeah. but I go by Ted, the nickname of my middle name. <laughs> well, that's not that crazy. I mean, if someone's name, for example, were Julian Matthew, you might call him Matt. Hang on, I'm going to shut the door on you for a moment. See, this is getting more Please. and more suspicious by the minute. What the heck? Pete. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's getting really weird. How did he know that I went by Ted? I don't know, because when we were in college together... Like, you would alternate names to throw people off pretty frequently. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I, know, I, know a, I know a perfect way to test him and see if this is the real Jack Cram Tank Skowitz. Um, so, Jack, I'm opening the door back yeah, up. Yeah, hi. So, uh, whatever happened to uh, Julie Fizbin? Oh, wow. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, right. Uh, you knew I, I uh, had uh, quite a crush on her. We did yes. uh, end up going out a few times uh, did you? Uh, after college. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, really? we both moved here to is, Boston. Is that true, Julie? Huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you dated Jack Kramtanskowitz for for mul- Yeah, for a, for a couple months. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, Wait, Julie right, so we, is here too? Yes. Yeah, she's the third in our uh, relationship. <laughs> oh. Wait, Julie, she... Yeah, everything fell apart. She said she met someone. Or, or rather... Plural. Yeah. Someone's. You did say that. You said, I met someone's. And I, I, I was so kind of heartbroken, I didn't ask you to clarify. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, so he knows Julie. Um, so, Jack. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Isn't it wild what the last four digits of your social security number were? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, yes, it's crazy what they were. Uh, uh, you'd never expect that combination of four numbers. Um, sure. By the way, you're not trying to like figure out if I'm a phishing scam or something right and you're not trying to do it by pulling a phishing scam on me are you that would be ridiculous you're obviously an old college friend who uh, moved in to the same neighborhood by sheer coincidence and we have just never encountered each other um, which is wild and you know considerably more unlikely than you being like a uh, someone who looked up our Facebook and found a name of someone we hadn't seen in a while and decided to harvest some valuable uh, financial data from us. Why don't you try asking him if he can send me $5,000 and that will allow me to unlock access to a vast fortune I've accumulated where then I can pay him back tenfold. Oh, good idea. I know you've been really worried about that vast fortune, Julie. I know, it's been eating me up. It would solve so many problems for all of us if you could just access it. (laughs) Anyway. uh, um, Yeah, I I I heard her. (laughs) Uh, She's got Venmo and Cash App, whatever is easiest for you. No, yeah, I mean, sure, they're all easy. I I, I just... uh, This is strange, guys. I, I, I just happened to go to the house next door... I had never met who lived here before. And it's all people that I know. And they're all trying to run scams on me. It seems, uh, it's kind of, kind of weird. This is a good point. What was the Say original now, reason? Who is that at the door? I wonder. Oh, <laughs> oh, yep. Yep. It's me. The fourth in the relationship. Mr. Graham tank. It's dad. Big, big Al Graham tank. Thank Oh man, I'm so glad that you're back. <laughs> we yep, missed you. Yep. How yep. was the 7-Eleven? Oh, same as ever. <laughs> well, guess yeah, who's here at the you? door? Um, who's this? Dad, it's it's me. Uh, uh, your son. Oh. Do you know this guy, Big Al? Big Al, uh, he cla- he's claiming to be Jack Kramtankalankowitz, uh, uh, your uh, your son, uh, who we went to college with. Oh yeah, let's um, let's uh, can you close the door real quick. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's let's uh, figure this out. What are we going to... We, we better ask him something. Uh, well, Julie had the great idea to try and get him to send the money number? to unlock her vast fortune, but he doesn't seem to be going for it, even though, you know, she would be able to pay him, like, tenfold uh, easily. Tenfold? <laughs> why don't, uh, why it's don't really we a lot tell of money. Him, why don't we tell him that if he simply... Uh, tells us his address, he'll get to see a video of me giving someone a blowjob. Ooh, good idea. Um, If he were really your son, he'd want to see that. (laughs) Jack, Jack, um, your dad, Big Al here, who we all love. um, Yeah, I heard that. (laughs) Mom has been calling me, saying she doesn't know where you are. Uh, This is... Uh, this is strange. I, I, I also I don't want to see you perform oral on anyone. Uh, and if you need to know my address, you could just look next door. Uh, the number's out front. Um. Well, I I, hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, guy. Um, gentlemen. Oh, can you show us your lease? I can shed some light on this. You are Jack Krantanka Bankowitz? Uh, yeah, I am. I am a prince of distant Nigeria. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the prince will solve this easy. I am the fifth member of this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, 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 <laughs> Tom? <laughs> yes. You, though I never mentioned it while we were in college, I, I possess a, uh, a claim to the throne of Nigeria. I am a member of the royal family. Wow, I, um, I sort of... Uh, However, find that I have become stranded in your country. <laughs> and it is Since only with yours... And it's only with your assistance that I will be able to return to my native land. Whereupon, I will be able to access our treasury and repay you for any assistance you provide. Guys, I only look, require your banking information. Uh, I'm not giving my banking information. This all started with you trying to figure out if I was scamming. <laughs> all right, we need, we need to take a, a step back. Let's figure out what's happening here. All right, okay. I'm sure well, there's let, a simple explanation. Yeah. Let's go back to the beginning. You knocked on our door. What right, was the I original reason? I was, was going to ask or- for... Oh, he was looking for MILFs in our area. No, right. that's not true. I was going to ask to borrow a cup of sugar because I was baking something. Cookies. Gonna, are you sure? Because we do have two MILFs here. Um, that's yeah, Wendy and that's two, They're ready to go. Yeah. Um, they, they've both, hey there. you know... <laughs> Look, I, I'm bummed that I don't see you guys anymore. I, I, I guess if this is how it works, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll just do all the things you just asked for. Uh, here we go, Venmo, uh, sugar for you. I did have one uh, cup. And uh, okay, and uh, boop. A day later, wow, I'm so wealthy. Everything went my way. <laughs> well, I mean, your relationship with your dad is still frayed. I'll show yeah, you a, a blowjob. I will show <laughs> you. Taxi. Follow that car. What? Uh, they, they haven't started driving yet, but follow that car. Well, you got it, boss. Um, Excuse me, well, I am in this taxi. They're going to start driving any second now, and I'm going to need you to follow that car. I have to get to work. Hey, sir, uh, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to, uh, you're going to have to wait for me to to take this fine person to his his destination. He doesn't have a destination. He's he's following a random car. uh, 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 And uh, wherever that car goes to is going to be the destination. And Look, where that is remains to be seen until after the car starts moving. Robert's rules of order clearly state that if somebody enters a taxi and says, follow that car, it supersedes the previous motion to go to your destination. 
Well, that is true. I'm not happy about it. Um, can't I just get out since you actually haven't started? I'll get another taxi. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I uh, the child I got the child locks on. Uh, it's broken. <laughs> there's nothing what? I can do. <laughs> you may yeah. Yeah, you may have noticed you had to climb in through the passenger uh, front passenger seat. I did now you mentioned it. You can it. get out and yeah, open the door, but the that? car that you're following could leave at any second. Oh, I've got my eye on it. Don't you worry. Uh, uh, it doesn't even good. seem to be good, anyone good, good. in that car. It's But when they come back, they're going to speed away, and I need to follow them. Can, well, <sighs> since we seem to have a moment, can we ask for some context on this? Why do you need to follow this car? I was wondering too, but it's unprofessional for me to ask. I I appreciate the professional courtesy, but I'd be happy to share. Uh, somebody just robbed the bank. Uh, that we're right in front of. Right. Uh, if you see the the bank, there's all oh, the, that the bank. police. Uh, yeah, yeah, that bank. Uh, and I'm a. Uh, you might have noticed I'm very uh, uh, muscular. I did. I was. I, uh, and I'm going to. S- oh yeah, I did notice that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so I've got this, all this like, uh, you know, kind of beat up, tattered clothing, and I'm a little bit bloody and bruised. It's because I was fist fighting the bank robber. And then we ran out here, uh, and that is their getaway car um, that I, I, I think maybe they're, they're just getting caught up. But they're going to hop into it any second. We're going to start a car chase. Wow. Well, actually, I see a guy over right there at the coffee shop uh, getting himself a, a bagel. And he's got a, some big sacks of money, or big sacks with a dollar sign on them. Do you think Are that's... Are you sure? Okay, they've got the dollar sign? They've that got... is probably him, then. Okay, well... All I right. Mean, it, it looks like he's he arguing... once he gets into the car, we're going to go after him. It looks yeah, like yeah, he's, yeah. He's arguing with the barista about his order at the moment. I don't think they mm. got it right. Oh, he, do, he yeah. does that. He's a Looks little, like he's uh, staying you know. perfectly still in one place and very distracted by an awkward social interaction. Oof, oof. Well, if I hadn't already gotten in the taxi, that would be a great opportunity, but yeah, right, but you're you know, already in here Robert's now. rules of order. Right. And besides, the child locks. Yeah, the child locks. Yeah. That's, that's I mean, you could come out through the pa- front passenger seat. Bring, bring. I would Jesse's phone. Bring, bring. Oh, hang on. My parrot is telling me that I have a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, parrot. <laughs> you're welcome. Hello? Yes, this is Moriarty, Jesse. Moriarty, where the hell are you? Sorry, sir. Um, I'm in a taxi. We were about to, I'm about to head to work, but um, uh, a uh, relatable American action hero it, uh, just jumped into the taxi, and we're waiting on the bank robber to get into his car so we can chase them. I don't care if it's a relatable American action or who's or what's it. I need you here to the the client is in the office today. Damn it! Did you tell him about Robert's rules of order? <laughs> he 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 only goes by Strunk and White. It's weird. Um, <laughs> Strunk and White, the the uh, elements of style. That's a that's, right. that's grammar and uh, <laughs> I, that's a completely I'm, different set no of rules. No way to run a meeting. I'm aware. <laughs> that's no you, way to run a meeting. This is a character trait I'm ascribing to you. You shouldn't be shocked by it. Um, no, I'm the driver. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, sorry. You're you ascribing sound that to... character trait to me. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I would never I'm, use I'm Strunk sound... and White. I think he was confusing you with his boss. You sound so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I need to get to work, and you can't do anything. Okay, I'm going to slither out through the window. Sorry. That's right. You better slither out. And, by the <laughs> way, Moriarty, the subjunctive case states that if something is supposed to be true, you would use verbs such as were rather than was. All right, All right bank. I'm confused now. Is that the boss or the taxi driver? <laughs> I want a hundred million dollars in a big sack right now. Moriarty, is that you? Or <laughs> yeah, I'm robbing so, the bank. Yeah. Give me your money, bank. Oh, you're another bank robbery. Right? Yeah. Oh man, I gotta. I'm gonna slither. Mm, uh, no, that's no. That's I'm gonna. Not I'm gonna rob the again. bank. And then I'm going to get back in the taxi, and I'm going to uh, put the gun to the taxi guy's head and tell him to drive, and then you can follow me in the same taxi. Oh, gee, oh, I really don't would. want that to happen. I don't want a gun to my head at all. 
But a gun to the head does supersede my request to follow that car. Right. Anyway, Robert's uh, bank, rules of if, order. Bank, if you uh, you're really gonna have to hustle with this money, and also while I'm here, I'm gonna point out that it was a bad idea to just have a an open kiosk right in the middle of the street. You should have had an interior <laughs> lobby or something. Uh, they may be a little yeah. low on money since they did just get robbed. Man, I'm sick of these armchair bankers. They think they know everything. Anyway. Look, are you going to give me the money or not? Yeah, yeah, here you go. Uh, Maybe he's right. (sighs) All right, taxi driver. I've got a gun to your head. Drive. Drive for uh, First National Bank on on Fifth Street, where I work. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, wait, were you carrying that gun all along? Yeah. What? It's New York. Scream, drive it, peeling away. Uh, actually, oh, now, wait, now that's a, that's actually a, a, a misconception. There's actually a, a relatively low number of guns in this in this state per capita. Good to know. I'm I'm gonna call my bank robber real quick. Actually, if you guys don't mind, I just want to give him a heads mm-hmm. up as to what's happening. Mm. Well, um, yeah, Great. well, we're not too bank far. Bank robber's phone. Hello? Hello? Do I have... Hello? Go on! (laughs) What what is it? What do you want? I'm robbing a bank right now, and Moriarty isn't here! No, you're you're not robbing a bank. I fought you when you robbed the bank. We ran out of the bank, and then you got caught up in a line at a coffee shop. Yeah, well, this idiot gave me a raisin bagel when I said blueberry! Blueberry! All right, well, regardless, I've been waiting in the taxi for minutes for you to get in your getaway car so we can start this car chase. And since then, Moriarty has gotten out, robbed a bank, and now he's got a gun to the taxi driver's head. He said, drive. So now we've got a whole other thing. So I'm not going to be there when you get in your, your getaway car. What? Wait a minute. What taxi is it? What's the taxi number? Five. The taxi number is four. Four or five. <laughs> Why, that's the taxi driven by my voice twin. (laughs) Oh, hang on. Let's uh, check. Hey, taxi driver. Yeah, what is it? Do you have a voice twin? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. He's a boss and a bank robber. Huh. What's his opinion on (laughs) drunk and white? He loves them. Uh, yeah, come to think of it, earlier when, uh, you mentioned that, mentioned a person who uses Strunk and White to, uh, dictate, uh, meetings, uh, yeah. I-, I know someone like that, my, my voice twin. Your voice twin, who you're not related <laughs> oh, to, but no. you just share a voice <laughs> we with. We just well, have an identical voice, we, but with a different we've re- accent. We've reached my right, work, yeah, of course. and we're parked now, um, hero guy, um, yeah. Can I shoot him? The taxi driver? What yeah. for? Because, well, first, well. There's just, I have to say, it's just, it's been a whole, he's just made this thing more difficult than it needed to be, if you ask me. Secondly, um, I don't like the idea that there are two people with the same voice in the world. I feel like I'd be doing the world a favor by reducing the amount of, like, gruff New York guy by one. Are, are you putting forward a formal motion? Um, yes, yeah. Uh, pursuant to my previous uh, grievance, I am hereby filing a formal motion to shoot the taxi driver in the back of the head. Now, wait okay. just a uh, minute! And I'm crawling in the <coughs> the uh, passenger door. Uh, huh. Okay, Moriarty, go on. You're What's leaving that? your meter. Yeah. You're le- leaving your meter running while you're taking this. My up meter? I don't. I don't have a meter. Is the your boss and the bank robber has entered the taxi in the passenger side? God, of the I am the much, boss. It, I know. The, <laughs> are you expecting? Do you mean that I have to look directly at the person to, I'm speaking to in order to identify which of these two people I'm uh, that I? Uh, yeah, no, yeah. It's going to be inconvenient. But that's what's to my <laughs> accent. <laughs> All right. Well, what's what do you want? How did you get it's here so fast? I was just over there. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, we haven't yeah, gone we very did far. Drive. You did drive. Are I, you saying uh, that 
We went to block. <laughs> no, no, we, you just I was waiting in the, the taxi block. to drive a block. <laughs> uh, once again, this, I feel like this, this is kind of a weird my... day, huh? Yeah, you know, I will second your motion. Thanks. <laughs> ah, my voice twin. Wait a minute. Point of order. Uh, 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 uh in, a, in a list of items, add a comma before the conjunction. You want to get that guy too? Yep. <laughs> ah! I have to say, really, <laughs> I think the train is a much more efficient way of getting around. I think that was a pretty great small part, Josh. Yeah, though they were kind of big small parts, don't you think? Big small? What are you talking about? There's no such thing as big small. Something's bigger, it's small. Yeah, well, what about Biggie Smalls? Damn. He got me with Biggie <clears throat> Smalls. I didn't think of that. <coughs> well, Josh, what happens after the Biggie he's, Smalls part? He's done. I think Josh is done. <sighs> right. You're going to have to find a new guy. <sighs> you, you can only play one character who's yelling. <laughs> and has a gruff voice. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, well, I think it's time for the big scene, which, <coughs> if I'm, that wasn't me. Which means it's time for more, some I more random. I just want to say I haven't coughed once. Random words. Okay, you ready? Tile. Orthodox. Year. Idea. Language. Pair. Hardship. Brainstorm. Shell. Sally. Um, yes? It's time to face reality. Your shop selling seashells by the seashore is not making any money. I... <clears throat> I know, it's very hard, it's emotional, but you've been... <laughs> oh, oh, Brian. <sighs> In hindsight... This was the worst place to sell seashells. <clears throat> yeah, right next to Sam's Seashell Superstore. Oh, great. Here comes the, Also on the seashore. Here comes the big businessman who's trying to buy you out. Uh, All right, Sally, you reconsidered my offer? What about you, Brian? You convinced her yet? Look, Sam, we're discussing it, okay? Um, I realize that you've kind of got the entire seashell industry... Uh, in a chokehold, but this business has been in our family for almost a hundred years, okay? It's not going to be something we can easily part with. Now, Sally, as your brother, I do have to tell you, I know that I haven't contributed as much to the business as maybe I could have, but we do have mm. to face reality here. We don't have the capital to keep the business going. I know... <laughs> I know it's true, but as your sister, I have to say that I, I, uh, I love this place and, and I just feel like such a failure that I couldn't keep it. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Anyway, Sam. Um, I was just stopping by uh, to one, see if you reconsidered, be a little bit threatening and all of that. I'm doing great, by the way. Thanks for asking. But uh, I was just going to hang up some flyers for my big beach competition. Beach competition? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, we, uh, we're doing all the all the classics. Volleyball, uh, shell tossing. Hang on. Swim. Let me see this. Swimming. What is this? Yeah, boogie boarding. What is this thing that uh, here at the bottom of the flyer? That says... Oh, the grand prize? Yeah, it says if, if someone wins the grand prize, they get a wish from you? Yeah, I give them a wish. What does that mean? Well, I'm Sam of Sam Seashell Superstore by the seashore. Sure. Uh, anyway, I've come into some mystical shells of sorts that maybe have some wish-granting properties. So, 
if I can just take a moment and understand this as Sally's brother, you are holding a mm-hmm. big competition to drum up, presumably... A beach competition, To drum yeah. up business for your, for your seashell-selling business, um... Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, I'm I'm importing so many shells for this. We're gonna be selling them all throughout the shore. Right. Okay, I get that. So there's gonna be a variety of different competitions, but one grand prize, and that grand prize yes. is a mystically granted wish uh, from one by of the, me <laughs> from one of your magical seashells that you've somehow come into possession of. Well, no, 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 no. <clears throat> I need to clarify something. The wish is coming from me. The seashells granted me the ability to grant the wish, but the wish is coming from me. So, hypothetically, if Sally won the grand prize and wished for... (laughs) (laughs) Sally's going to win the beach competition? Well... Yeah, right. Let's just, for the sake of argument, suppose that happened. Then you would have... Say she wished that you would leave her business alone forever and wouldn't try to, to squeeze her out of the seashell business, you'd have to grant that wish. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll humor you. If she somehow won the beach competition and then asked me to grant her a wish to leave her store alone and stop putting the squeeze on her, then yes, I would have to do that, using my mystical powers. But, but you could also just use your authority as a businessman in, who is in charge. In of- this instance, I could use my authority as a businessman, but I would be compelled to use my magical powers in accordance with the flyer. Right. Okay. Well, uh, okay, thank you, Sam. Your offer is declined. Now wait a minute. I'll be back. What I, you you cha- you got better sense than your brother? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, well, I don't know about better sense, but look, brother, uh, whose name I know I said, but I got a little distracted. Um, Sal. Yeah, your brother Sam, Sal, Sal, of Sally, and and Sam, and Sam uh, are the th- are the three named the characters. The biggest so seashell far. sellers look, on the seashore. Look, I know who we all are. I know what's been happening. I've been standing here the whole time. Uh, all right. Well, what do you, what's, your, what's your point, taking Sally? Taking it all in. <laughs> what's your point, Sally? My point is, I'm sick of being pushed around. Okay. <clears throat> you know, mom and dad said I wouldn't be able to to run this store. And, and and they were bullies, okay? Frank, quite frankly, they were bullies. And, and now this guy, Sam, he's a bully too. Well, I'm not going to be pushed around anymore. I'm going to do what's on that flyer. Right, that's... Yeah, that's the flyer we that were. I came by to hang up. That's, yeah, that's right, what, it's right, the right there in your hand. I see it, and I remember us talking about it. I'm right. going uh, to can enter you... the beach contest. What? Right, that's what I was uh, saying we were going to do. Um, well, wait, what were you th- declining look, then? <laughs> Sam's offer, offer of to buy buying the store. The, the store. <laughs> oh, He's trying to buy out the... I see. <clears throat> I want to buy your store. And listen, your parents weren't bullies. Your mother, Sue, and your father, Sal Sr., were two of my best hey, friends in the world. Hey, you get their names out of your mouth. I know that they helped you start your seashell yeah, business, slap. but then... But then they died under mysterious circumstances. Around the same time, you began to accumulate mystical abilities, Sam. <laughs> it's all coincidence. I have to say, my slap didn't quite have the resonance of, of, of some similar ones. Well, he's got power. Well, you're very far away. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Look, Sam. Your the the your your offer to purchase this business is has been declined. That, we'll see that you one at the, that one we decline. Yeah. Okay, but the offer of joining the no that beach one we company. are accepting. Oh, that one we also declined for sure. We oh, agree accepting. we're accepting okay. that one. Right, but that's only because that I've is. I've always a, said that. But that's only because that one can be publicly joined by any person, and also yes, that's also on the fly. Right, like so we're not actually compromising any principles to join that particular competition. I never left this whole time. We know, Sally. We know! <laughs> We've, look, all right. It, 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 we'll, we're going to win the competition, we're going to get the wish, and we're going to save our parents' business. Boy, I'd, 
I really enjoyed the part no, I, of the story where we found out that Sam has powers. Well, powers. Well, look, I don't think you're going to do any of those things. I don't think you're going to win the competition. I don't think you're going to save your business. And I don't think you're going to uncover the mystery of your parents' mysterious, untimely deaths. <sighs> well, I think we're going to do at least two of those things. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> And, and remind me again, when do the beach competitions start? Beach competitions start one week from today. Hmm. All then right, then it's time to train. Right. At 4.30 in the morning. Oh, we've got a full day of events. Yes, so early. I, I, but they're not all competitions, though. Look, Sally, he's also got a dachshund race. That's going to be really cute. That's going to be gonna delightful. Be funny. Yeah, they're, they're, they're one very week short, later. Sally, are you ready? Of course I am. I've been training for a week. We okay. Let's just go over it one more time, okay? All Five right. competitions. We have to win in at least three of them in order to clinch the grand prize, okay? That's um, right. And he's got. But, we've got boogie boarding, <clears throat> um, and we have uh, sand castle building. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the, of course, other three beach-related activities. <laughs> That's right. Those will be after that. Right. Uh, All now, right. Oh, look, there's Sam in his uh, shell-studded suit. Uh, <laughs> oh, top of the morning to you two. <laughs> Sam? It's, a, it's an Sam. awfully bitter, cold morning here in the, on the beach in New York um, at 4.30 in yeah, the morning in the middle of winter. it's very cold today. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised the crowd's not bigger. Well, uh, uh, but I do see uh, it's the notorious shell stealing pirate Captain Delancey. Arr, it's me. Oh, man. Del what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Uh, hey, what's that behind you? You're not after these shells, are no. you? No. Definitely not. You're here for the competition? Oh, yeah, uh, the what? Oh, yeah, the, that's what I'm here for. The competition, that's for sure. Uh, we got to make sure you don't win because you could use the wish to grant... to, to Wish for all wish our shells. That all yeah. of the shells in the world were yours, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be bad for both oh, Sam shells. and us because both of our business yeah, I models want that. depend on shells. Yeah. Uh, Wait, and okay, look who look, else is here. Now, in the late back 1950s, I, I had one sister for sale, a yacht, lion crying sister for sale. Well, of course, we all know that's Shell Silverstein. He's here, too. Oof. The notorious. He shows up at any Shell related event. Uh. I can't wait to win the competition. And then uh. I'm going to make a wish for there to be a boy named Sue. Woohoo! <laughs> What a difficult man to to be around. Um, yes, and and you're probably maybe you're looking at him and you're like, "That's weird. Why is he like that?" But look him up. That is what he's like. Right, but even worse than Shell Silverstein. I don't need to look him up. He's right over Good there. Point. W yeah. Even worse than Shell Silverstein is Crabulor, the crab the size of a <laughs> buffalo, who can speak with the voice of a man. Crabulor is a is a beach staple, and I would not host an event without his presence. Yeah, yeah. You don't find him difficult, a bit of a diva? You puny humans shall <laughs> never be able to defeat me. I think he's endearing. And first up is boogie boarding. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, look. Here's. Oh, look. Why are Sam's you so gonna excited, do. Excited, Sam. You're in a full suit, and it's and the water. Well, Sam's is not. Sam's not degrees. competing. Not, Sam is the host of the event. Uh, is that not, right? Sam is hosting I, the. He's not going to compete. I'm granting a wish. Of course, I know that. I am sponsoring this event today. <laughs> All right. Well, he's about to do his big speech. Let's glare at him, Sally. Welcome, everybody. It's so good to see you on this beautiful mm. February morning on this New York beach. Uh, yeah, you go know, ahead. Which I, one? I, the New York beach. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
And, uh, you know, before we kick things off with a, a friendly round of boogie boarding, uh, I want to introduce uh, the judges for this competition. Me, of course, Sam, uh, the owner of Sam's Shell Superstore Yay. on the seashore. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. And, of course, I've got my old army sergeant, Sarge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you maggots, drop it. Give me 20 right now. Thank you, Sarge. They're not- and I've got Sherman as well, uh, my, my meek and uh, tired cousin. Oh, yeah. Are, are you sure this is a good idea, Cousin Sam, all of these people everywhere? I do. I think it's a great idea. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's, get, let's kick things off. With boogie boarding. Uh, and just to go over it again, we've got uh, me, Sam. We've got Sarge to my right. We've got Sherman to my left. We've got Sally. We've got Sal. Their parents aren't who aren't here because they died. Sue and Sal Sr. Uh, Shell Silverstein. And of course, to round us out, Crabulor and Captain Delancey. <laughs> And a bunch of other nameless competitors. Who <laughs> will probably be knocked out pretty quick. Wouldn't they look like a bunch of losers to me, to be frank. Well, it looks like Captain Delancey's feeling antsy. He's ready to go. He's got his boogie board out. Um, Sam. Wow, and what a, what, a, what a crooked, awful wooden boogie board he has. It looks like a plank from a pirate ship that has been repurposed. It does look like a plank. Um, so, Sam. As your as your former army sergeant, um, we we've been yes. in, we we were in some pretty tight situations together, you know. Um, oh, we've been in some scraps overseas. That's right, Sal and Sally. The guy you're up against <laughs> is a veteran. <laughs> That's right. By the way, I'm going to point out that you guys are trying to prevent Sam from buying out your small business. That's why you've joined this competition in the hopes of getting the wish. But one of the people who will judge whether or not you win the competition <laughs> yeah. is Sam? Sam himself. Yes. Uh, oh, Sam. And me and Sam's family member. Right, Sherman. Yeah. A, a panel of impartial judges. <laughs> oh, uh, Sal. What hope do uh, the two of us, Sal and Sally, have against the judges, Sam Sherman Sar- and Sergeant in the sand competition. <laughs> well, um, uh, probably not great now that, uh, yeah, now that no, we actually no, stand. Probably not. <laughs> and, and okay, but the boogie board competition must be starting at any minute now. It looks like, oh, yeah, we've been going. Yeah, look oh! at wow, look at Delancey go. Yeah, the, all the. Arr. Yeah, he's been he's been going at it. Arr. And Sarge, let me tell you, I have not seen boogie boarding like this. Uh, n- nor have I. Not I, since. Not, I was going to say not since, but I, I I've never seen boogie boarding. Well, before like this. you joined the service, when I was a mere private, I did once see a man boogie board like this. But he boogie boarded too hard and self destructed. Arr, arr, well, surely arr, Captain arr, Delancey arr. would it self-destruct. I'm doing a good job of boogie boarding. I'm going to win. Now, Sarge, let me ask you something. Hey. He's starting to flash red occasionally in a pattern that's picking up speed. Uh, does that mean anything? Well, when I saw this technique last performed uh, uh, almost 30 years ago in the South China Sea, that pattern indicated that uh, the uh, the boogie boarder was indeed nearing detonation. Wow, what do you think it means here? Cousin, cousin, maybe you could... Oh! Oh, I was going to suggest you use your magic powers to save him. (laughs) Oh, I I would never interfere. Even to save a man's life. He's dead now. (laughs) Not in a beach competition, Sherman. Oh my God. Not in a beach competition. Sally, Captain Delancey is dead. Oh my gosh. And look, I didn't like the man. He was not a saint, but I didn't wish him to die in such a way. Neither did I. And look, we've all co- now washed ashore on our boogie boards. The rest of us all tied. Wait, look, the judges are talking. I have to say, I have to give the win to Delancey posthumously. It would be the respectful thing what to the do. Hell? Yeah. Agree. Outrageous! Clearly, Crabulor is the victor. <laughs> 
Look, we all respect what you accomplished today, Crabulor, but the judges have agreed the first prize in the boogie boarding competition goes to Captain Delancey, deceased. Um, and um, uh, everyone else. Everybody else tied for second. Everyone else tied for second. Moving uh. on, the <laughs> Sand Castle competition. All right, this is going to be a big one, folks. Who can build a sand castle? <laughs> then we'll judge them. Yep. <laughs> Sally, I think we might. Okay, Sally, I think we might have the advantage in this one. One, we have hands, and Crabby right. Lord does not. Right. He's only got. He's got only got pincer claws. And oh, Shell Silverstein. The, the sand sifts right through my claws. And Shell Silverstein is 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 currently like giving his all to that tree, and the tree just <laughs> generously gives back. You know. Uh, <laughs> I take it for granted. We. So let's build quickly. Okay. Mm, crenolate. Cr crenolate the battlements. Mm, it's interesting that only one team seems to be building... Well, that's partially because, Sam... Only one team seems Sam, to be building a sandcastle. It's true, but uh, look at Crabulor, who in his fr has turned his frustration on the crowd. Not entirely unexpected. Oh, Crabulor He is smash. unleashing his crab lasers on the crowd. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Uh, of course. It's always messy when the crab lasers come out. Mm -hmm. Of course. As uh, anyone who is a New York native will remember, Crabulor cannot be prosecuted for any crimes committed in this state. <laughs> and he cannot die. <laughs> By any means. As he is so willing to remind us. Yeah. <clears throat> Immortality of the crab. Um, but, but cousin, uh, the giving tree has given Shell Silverstein a beautiful sandcastle. Does that count? <laughs> Look, uh, it well, all worked out see. for me. The rules, uh, I'm, I'm looking through the bylaws now. Mm. Uh, the rules state uh, that you must build a sandcastle, and uh, that's it. <laughs> so, uh, did Shell Silverstein build the sandcastle, or was it given to him? I think we're going to have to ask the giving tree itself. Let's, let's uh, put it up on the, on the monitor here, super slow motion. <laughs> Here <laughs> the sand castle. What do you think, Sam? You didn't build this. <laughs> nope, you did. And now I'm giving it to you. I take this for granted. What do you, uh, what's your call here, Sam? Final arbitration. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, this round, unfortunately, is going to have to go to my competitors. Sal and Sally? Sal, Sal and Sally. Drop and oh, give no! me 20, maggot. Sam, you've disappointed me. Give me 20 laps around the beach. All right, I'll, we'll be back with the competition after I've run 20 laps, but unfortunately, Shell Silverstein has been disqualified from the Sandcastle competition for not building his Sandcastle. Oh, no! I'm falling up! Just like the name of one of my books! Whoa! I'm going into the sky! Whoa! That is, that is really scary. Oh, my God, he's not coming back down, Sally. I, oh, my god! Look at him glass. He's grasping at his throat. He's 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 desperate for air. He seems to be freezing as he gets higher and higher. Oh, why did they have the drone camera fixed on him the whole way up so we could see every lurid detail? Wow, that's extremely violent. Silverstein is dead. Oh, he popped when he made it to space. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Oh. Uh, Sally. Well, Sarge, I... Sally. We're Sarge, I am going to... Oh, Sally, Sally. I don't want to interrupt. So, well, well, well so there's Coach Sam on his laps, <laughs> um, round and round the beach. But, but Sally... What is we've it, got, Sal? We, we've got one victory. We only need two more That's in right. the three as-yet-undefined beach activities. That's right. The, it's time for the final, uh, the final competition. Three beach activities... 
Sam is going to announce three random beach activities pulled from that big sack of beach activities. We have to do them all at once. And our only real competition is Crabulore. <laughs> ha! Puny humans! <laughs> How could you ever hope to defeat me? I can be defeated neither by physical means or the court system. He's, <sighs> can't die, Cragular. I know you can't. He's right. Just run my laps. He's right. Uh, pick up your knees, Sam. Get back on stage. <sighs> we are delighted to announce uh, that uh, the fundraising drive has raised almost half a million dollars for chalk. Thanks to this event. Uh, that is so wonderful. For chalk? Those kids are going to have so much chalk. Yeah, C-H-O-K. Uh, the, the Children's Hospital of Orange County. Oh, 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 weird. Oh. I thought we were, we're, but we are raising the money to get the kids in the Children's Hospital chalk, right? Like like sidewalk chalk? Yes. Um, okay, good. Also, good. Children's Hospital of Orange County is... In the on the West Coast, this is an event taking place in New yes. York, which some have commented of on course. Uh, being a little strange, but it isn't. Now, um, Sal, as much as I hate, I, I dislike Sam, I have to admit his Chalk for Chalk program is really successful. Yes, it's a lot better than uh, Crabulor's Crabs for Crabs program. <laughs> yeah, you mean the program where he where he gives other crabs. Uh, um, Venereal genital, disease, yes. uh, yeah. yeah. It's not great. Genital it's lice. not great. But he can't be prosecuted for it. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't die. All right. Now, um, Sheldon, well, the people of New York, uh, the citizens of New York have uh, uh, submitted a series of beach activities. Um, Sal, fi- Sal, is that, is, Sher- is that Sherman's voice twin, Sheldon? I think I think they are uh, identical twins. Yes, um, but their voices but too. Better not to comment on it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, the people of New York have all submitted a series of beach activities, um, which we have printed out and placed into this big sack. Uh, Sam is now going to put pull out three beach-related activities, which the final competition will require the competitors to do all at once. The winner. <laughs> Gets the wish. You know, and, and I just want to say, uh, as the, the time rolls up, uh, I know I said I had a full day of events planned. It is 5.07 in the morning, so we have been doing this for 37 minutes, and we are at the final event. So uh, I'm going to dedicate myself to do better next time and actually plan a day full of events. I thought the first two were going to last a lot longer. Well, the fatalities but, uh, definitely put a bit of a, a hamper on that. They did, yeah. Speaking of, all right, so, I would really like it yes. if someone could move the, the exploded gibbets of Captain Delancey's <laughs> body out of the way. <laughs> we've we've called the city, you know. And all right, it's kind of up and up beep, to them now. Boop, beep, uh, boop. Greetings. I am the random beach activity generator. We fed the, the the items voted by the citizens of New York into me, and now I need you oh, to oh, each hold say... On. Where's my sack? Hold on, hold on. Where's Sam's sack? I'm the sack. sack. I came to life. You're the sack? <laughs> S-A-C-K? That's right. I am S- Sam's what does automaton it stand for? coming to kill... <laughs> Wait, we don't want you to kill. We just want you to choose three random event activities. Do, do you also generate random beach I events? I do that also. So I need you all to say a number from 1 to 33. Well, it's... 33? Yeah. Sam, okay. Sam should do it. It's his event. All right. So the, what, the first event... <laughs> they all went away. Oh, yes, the what? the first event that will be done simultaneously with the other two is Sandcastles. <laughs> All right. I'm tired of this sack. This sad sack is disappointing me. I say we get rid of him and we just use a regular Crabulor. sack. Hey, Crabulor, can you do can you do a fine businessman a favor and destroy the sack? <laughs> yeah, just tear him apart with your huge crushing claws. Gladly! 
Bam, 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 lasers, lasers, claws, claws, claws. Oh, look. He, oh, he had the big bag look, inside he him. Left, <laughs> and he left three intact beach activities. Three strips for of us paper. Clearly written. Sam, could Boy, you pick them up strange, again? Sal, what I, a strange course, digression in this competition. What? The, why with without further delay we're all, we're approaching 5:25 in the morning people now. have places to be uh, you got work uh, uh, yeah yeah the first activity is beach volleyball why did they okay. do this on a tuesday you know what sam is an eccentric man um uh, let's hear what the other two activities are okay. i'm okay the second beach activity is swimsuit competition ooh we can, and the we can third probably beach be activity. That, right? <laughs> yeah, right. The third beach activity is seashells. Wait, I, uh, question. Yeah. Yes, what is uh, meant by and seashells? White point of order. What is meant by seashells? What does that activity entail? Right. You know, finding. <laughs> Uh, finding seashells, looking at them, uh, dusting them off the sand, and looking at the the colors. Uh, listening to see if you can hear the ocean. Okay. Um, okay. All the classic seashell things. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can do this, Sally. We can do this. Here, let me get into my sexy swimsuit. Yes, and and I'll do the same. <clears throat> all right. Wow, those are extremely sexual swimsuits. They are extremely surprising re- from the siblings. Yes, they're very <laughs> revealing. You look really great, Sal. Sally, like if you weren't my sister, mm. I would, I would, I would sex you up pretty good. Yeah, uh, I feel the same way, I, Sal. I would definitely have sex with you if you were not my boy, brother. Our, our protagonists are becoming less endearing by the minute. I, I'm kind of rooting for Crabulor here. I mean, I already was, but... Uh, I've, I've always been rooting for and Crabulor. And why wouldn't you be? Look how good I look in my Speedo! Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Drink me in, Crabular fellas. Crabulor is packing. <laughs> All right. Well, we have an Olympic regulation-sized volleyball court here set up on the beach. Um, I'll take out this volleyball. Sam, if you'd like to spike it, and begin the competition. All right, let me just jump up. Uh, ignore all the jingling seashells on my <laughs> seashell suits as I do. Right. Uh, 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 quickly. Uh, bop. Uh, bop. Uh, Sally, Sally, show more ass. We've got to win this. Uh, we've got to win this uh, s- swimsuit competition. Oh, stop. You're such a tease, Sal. Okay, here's my ass. And bop. Uh, and uh, uh, bop while I swoop down, grab a seashell off the sandy ground, dust it off, hold it up. Ooh. Uh, uh, and just with a spike. Oh, that'll keep Crabulor busy as I dust off what feels like another. Wait, this isn't another seashell. This is. Oh, no. This is the dead, decayed remains of my father. Buried uh, I was really sand. hoping you didn't. Oh, man, I should have picked a different beach for this. And beside him, my mother's mummified corpse. Buried uh, not even that yeah, far under the sand of this of this beach. You did find Sal Sr. and Sue's skeletons. Oh, my God, I and there's a note admit. here. On the seashore. There's a note pinned to the corpse, which reads... Uh, don't read... Hey, don't read the note. Bo- um, it reads... It looks like I have successfully murdered you. Signed, Sam of Sam Seashell Superstore. Oh my God! <laughs> I oh how oh no! I was so shocked by the discovery of our parents' long dead corpses buried here in the sand of this beach that I missed the volleyball. It's impacted into the sand. <laughs> Crabulor is Crab Victor. The game is over. All right. And now it's up to Sam to make the final judgment. All eyes are no. turning to uh, him. Hey, we'll get through this. Let me kiss you on the lips real quick. Mwah. Yes. Uh, oh, your top came off. Oh, well. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Listen, I may be a murderer, but... 
I, I just want to move things along All right. here. Uh, Sarge is going to arrest me after this competition. Sure. <laughs> right. Like, okay. As, look, you, as you do. Look, we've got Sam down for a lot of crimes, but the state of New York yeah, is. Yeah, a lot of crimes. The state of New York is quite explicit about competition. Sam, you have to announce a winner, and then you have to award the prize. I do have to announce a winner here, and, uh, folks. I'm 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 sorry to say that we may be looking at a tie. What? <gasps> uh, well, what does that mean? Do we get half a well, wish? But, but how? Well, but so what? So you you went into this this final round with <laughs> with one point, and Crabulor had none. Right. Correct. Crab Crabulor beat you in volleyball. Right. And his swimsuit doesn't creep me out in the same way that looking at you two does. It's actually hell? really like it's not. Sexy, but I feel like if I was a crab, it would be sexy. Does that make sense? <laughs> it I, it makes perfect sense, Sarge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all agree. Yeah. yeah. So what are you saying, Sam? I'm so I'm saying that. Well, I mean, obviously, look. As much as I hate to admit it, Sally, nobody knows the beach like you. Uh, Nobody's finding uh, seashells like you do. It's true. Uh, Sally, you've so, been here so for you years. get the point for seashells. Yes, <gasps> but. Crabular gets the points for volleyball and the swimsuit. But that means we both have yeah. two that makes points. It, that would mean it's that a tie. That means we both have two points. Well, what does that mean for the Which prize? Which is where I started. What does that mean for the prize, Sam? You promised a wish, a mystically means, granted wish to, to the... You, what it means is that each of you need to give me uh, a, a short speech as to why you should be the ones who receive the wish from me, Sam the Wish Giver. <sighs> Sally, it should be you. You, you've, it's your business that we're trying to save. It was just as much I, your... I, I also just, sorry to interject, I would like Sally to put her top back on, please. <laughs> oh, I, and, sorry, I just can't help it. Uh, has a mind and, of its and your own. Hands, How are you not, like, Sally, freezing? Sally, your hands are not. How are you not <laughs> so cold right now? <laughs> All right, then. I'll make the first... Uh, uh, employ that I should be the one to get the wish. Crabulor! Let's hear Crabulor! Well, you see, I, Crabulor, am actually a vulnerable character <gasps> worthy of sympathy, for but I was created in a lab to have the perfect combination of a human and crab anatomy. And but also be super sexy. So the person decided that the perfect combination of human and crab anatomy was all crab body and just human voice? <laughs> Correct! <laughs> okay, I mean, I you can can't see. argue with the results. Yeah. But Crabulor, you can't be killed and you can't be prosecuted under any New York law. Why do you need a wish? Because I also can't be loved. Aww. Under New York law. It's true. Uh. Oh, yeah, that is, yeah. And I want, I'm, and that's what I'm going to use my wish for. For love? Love? Correct! Huh, I want to meet a crab woman who's as hot as I am. Oof, tall order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Well, oh, Sally, look. Even the, my powers have limits, buddy. Look, the, the, the crowd is weeping at the sh raw emotion in Crabulor's <laughs> speech. It was a beautiful story and so well told. Very much so. You can beat him, Sally. Convince the man who murdered our parents that he has to grant <laughs> us a wish. Well, you know... Before before this past week, I, I would have said I'm not really much of anything. You know, I, I, people don't really pay attention to me, Sally. Uh, even when my top comes off, oops. <laughs> please, but, please do not. No. Okay, <laughs> tease. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, nobody believed in me. My mom and dad never believed in me, and well, you know, I. What? 
I mean, they they were murdered. I don't know if that's quite the yeah, same. Yeah, but as... before that, before they were murdered, they before didn't that they in didn't. Me. Yeah, they oh. didn't. They told me actually. We were we were really close. We listen. I murdered them. That I wasn't went, the last thing they ever said when they were alive, was it? Uh, they may have mentioned something about you not having seashell stuff. Oof. Like you don't have the stuff to to carry on the family business Oof. and uh, you know something. Keep, to keep that. going with the speech, I, Sally. Keep going. With well, that's my very point. No one believed in me, and but you know what? I believed in me, and I put everything into this company and, and into. My my life with my brother and all the people of the beach. This community means so much to me, and I need to continue to be here for them. And the only way that's going to happen is not if Sam just chooses not to, <laughs> to put me out of business, but for me to wish on his mystical shell to force him to not put me out to, uh, out of business. I just want to point out that the the shell is what granted Sam the ability to grant wishes. The shell is no longer a part yeah. of the... Of, 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 of the shell doesn't give powers. All right, it did, it did give powers, but now it doesn't give wishes. That's a one-off thing. Now yeah, the shell yeah. is no longer... I grant the wishes. The wishes are coming from me. Um, anyway, sorry. Who what do you is think? the victor? Well, I'm, I'm going to... I'm Crabulor, I'll be honest. I, okay, what? Okay. <laughs> Sam sounds pretty definitive. Crabulor, you are the winner. Make your wish. Hooray! Finally, love is within my grasp, my big claw pincer grasp, and I, as I approach my friend Sam, and I slowly begin to blink on and off. Blink, blink, blink. What's happening? <laughs> oh no! Crabulor! <laughs> But Crabulor, Crabulor, no, make the wish. Be prosecuted by New York State law or die. <laughs> of course. The failsafe that those horrible people in the lab put into me. What? Yes, I was only ever supposed to to walk this earth for a thousand years. So who made, who is this made you in this lab, Da Vinci? <laughs> Can't Crabular? Couldn't you wish for another thousand years? Yes, change your wish. Uh, no. All I want to wish for is love. And now I will well, wish for it. Beep, 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 And out of the mist, something is emerging. I am Crabula. Where is my beloved? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, that's what so terrible sad. timing. Oh, my God. Crabula, you just missed Crabula. Ju- there was a guy here who he, was perfect uh, for you. That's so funny. I he know you, so Crabula. He so sexy in a Speedo. You, you look great. Yes, we went to college together. <laughs> that's Crabula right. Crabula wasn't... Wait, so Crabula wasn't invented by my wish? No. She I, just that, existed already? It's one of those wishes where you make the wish, and then it seems like it's been oh, granted. Oh, it summons... But it's okay. more like... It could have happened in a mundane way, but it could have been the wish too, you know? Um, it's really quite, sure, 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 really sure, quite sure. beautiful. But if my beloved Crabulor is no more, then I feel there is no need for any more living things here, and I am going to indiscriminately <laughs> attack the crowd. <laughs> oh no! Sal, Sam, it looks like we're going to all have to put our differences aside and defeat Crabula, the the rampaging crab monster. Well, luckily, Crabula is only immune to New Jersey law. Right, but the border is right there by the volleyball field. We've got to lure her over here. (laughs) We've got to get her over to the New York side, and then the NYPD will immediately arrest her. They're waiting. You can see them. Oh, and look, there's We're that here, ripped, and we don't have necks. There's that ripped shirt action hero too. He's ready to go. <laughs> I'm. I don't even need a taxi for this one. Well, I'll leave this to uh, New York's boys in blue. But uh, Sam, you're coming with me to be imprisoned in Fort Leavenworth <laughs> Military Jail for your multitude, yeah. multitude of crimes. I'm also arresting... Before I go... Yes. I just... Sorry, I, I know I make a lot of speeches. 
I love to make speeches <laughs> as a crooked businessman. Yeah, yeah it is you, Sam. <laughs> but just before I go, I, I you know, the, these past few minutes, Krabby Lore dying, shocking us all. Yes, that was terrible. Has really made me reevaluate some things mm-hmm. in my life and yeah. murdering my two good friends for no reason, really. No, you could have uh, just continued being business partners. I don't. Yeah, we were business. We were all doing great, yeah. and they didn't like their kids, uh, so they weren't gonna like pretty, give, cut me out of the business. It was probably a weird, and, like, creepy incest vibe, to tell you the truth. Uh, that was I, honestly that that's making me reconsider what I'm about to say because I, I just remembered that, and that's really off putting. Mm. Uh, but you know, I somebody. If I'm going off to military prison, somebody needs to service the seashore with seashells. And who better to service the seashore with seashells than Sal and Sally's seashell shop? Are you saying <gasps> you're giving them control over the business empire you created? That's right. My God. Sam's seashell superstore on the seashore is now going to the siblings, Sam and <laughs> Sal and Sally who are going to continue to sell seashells on the seashore from Sally's seashell store on the seashore. Wow, Sam, do you mean it? I do. Wow. And only because I'm going off to prison for a long, long time. (laughs) Oh, Sally, this has worked out beautifully for all of us, and uh, no, because if I can't (laughs) love, then no one can. (laughs) Ah! I've been clipped in half! So no! <laughs> but Actually, she's over the side! Men, right. get her! Wee wee wee! Baton, baton, baton! <laughs> you can lock me away, but I can't be killed except after a thousand years when I will explode! I think that was great. I think yeah, every, I think that was some of our best work. I think every plot point that we set up was uh, <laughs> was it was resolved. Um, yeah, it, it was really off. tight. It was tight. That's for sure. It was tight. It was clean. Every it was uh, extremely well written. Well, Steve, what do you got going on? I feel like you've got some some shows out, right? Shows. Shows out. Yeah. Lord, I don't know. <laughs> All right, everybody watch Crossing Swords on Hulu. <laughs> Don't do that. Do not. <laughs> hey, this is recorded. That's fine. I don't work there anymore. <laughs> They're basically out of business. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jesse, where can people find you? I'm on Instagram at jesse.moriarty. How about you, uh, Josh? Yeah, you can find me at the Josh Pilt Show. Go ahead and watch City Island on PBS and Weird, the Al Yankovic story. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, all our music, of course, was composed and performed by Steve Wilder Blumenthal of WilderBlueMusic.com. Uh, also, Steve Galan has social media. We didn't let him say it. Uh, but do you want people to follow you? I don't. I listen. I wh- where what social media exists now? I, that we have run into this issue. Yes, it's uh, Instagram, basically. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what my Instagram. I think General Walnut. Probably General I don't post Walnut. on that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can you can follow me on Twitter if you want. I don't check What's it. What's Twitter? <laughs> Yeah, that's been gone. Sorry, x.com. Oh, x.com. That's where I make my x posts. Right. Um, that's where you that's where you x. Yeah, yeah. Um well, in that case, I suppose I can say from uh, <laughs> from the train full of Nazis to the uh a neighbor's apartment full of scammers. Or maybe not. To the car uh, full of heroes and robbers and New York folk. And from the the new from the city of New York to the seashore of the state of New York, where right. a dramatic beach-based competition uh, was underway. And from the beach to Big Town. And from Big Town to... To your town. Your town. <sighs> Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.
I love hey, it. Hey, that was one of that our best great. wrap ups ever. Mm-hmm.